with Moab, you 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 you'll be eating octopus, you'll be eating rats and cats and dogs, man. And that's unlawful. Elon come over here, Ishmael, they own every gas station, man. Every convenience store. Then look at you like like you ain't shit when you walk in. You know? They come over here and go right above you, man. And you below them. And it's set up to Esau, man. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Every every time you go, if you need money, you gotta go to who? The banks, man. Who are owned by Esau. Owned by the bankers. You're not lending money to them. You gotta go to them, man and get money with high ass interest rates that you can't pay back. You know? It's a whole, this system is one big setup, man. It's one big setup. To, to be born in this society is to be born dying, death, man. That's why we need Yahweh Shai to come back and get this kingdom of heaven. Where we can prosper, we can we can uh, we can prosper and live in peace, man, and live in harmony. We need that. We need that kingdom, man. Cause being in this society, bro, is just death, man. Everything goes on. Ain't nobody saying that because who? They all brainwashed, man. Only the ones are saying something is the men of the Lord. You know. It says, uh, verse 45, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou hast, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. So if you don't hearken unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, these curses will overtake you and they will destroy you. He will allow them to destroy you. There is no escape. Can't escape the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. If we can't escape until he come back, guess what? You Edomites who've been in charge the last 560, 70 years, you're not gonna escape everything you've done to the nation of Israel while you have been in charge. While you've been the head and we've been the tail. You're not gonna escape. And it says, uh, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever, man. The warning. We're giving you the warning. Salak. The men of the Lord are giving you the warnings. We go around these different cities, week in and week out. The men are warning you, man. They're watchmen. The watchmen, when you read in Ezekiel, hey, the watchmen come out to warn you. Because they want the the, uh, uh, the blood to be off their hand, off their hands. You know, it says, verse forty-eight. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord thy house shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee put you in subjection like he did put you in, in subjection man you know put in subjection brought to slavery man that yoke of iron that's a literal yoke of iron all you gotta do is go on uh google images you type in a yoke of iron on google google images it's gonna show you the yoke of iron meaning that, that iron they put around the slaves necks and they had those four a uh, piece of metal that stuck out four ways so when they ran they would get caught up in the woods man you know a literal yoke of iron man yoke of iron represents slavery you know 